Hi, I'm Scott Fuller. I'm Scott Warwick. We're both with the culinary program at Algonquin College in Ottawa. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a basic traditional chicken dinner and in this stage and then we're going to be moving it over to the final result, stretching our ingredients to create another entire meal. So instead of cooking a turkey, you might want to cook a chicken. A little bit cheaper, a little bit smaller, not as much of an expense. And then we're going to show you how to take your Christmas dinner and turn it into dinner the next night by using the leftovers. Okay, so this is why we're here. We're going to show you how to turn yesterday's in meal into today's meal or tomorrow's meal and save yourself a little bit of money on your groceries. So what we have is we have yesterday's turkey or chicken diced up. We're simply going to put that in a bowl. It's already been cooked, so we have no worries about cooking the turkey or chicken. We have the leftover root vegetables from yesterday. I also added a few peas. Whatever you have in the freezer will work. If you don't have leftover vegetables, feel free to use frozen veg. But, as I say, it's always nice to make a bit extra the day of because this is a wonderful dish and a wonderful way to use the leftovers. And then, last but not least, I have yesterday's leftover pan gravy. We're simply going to add that to the bowl. We're going to mix it all up. This only takes a few minutes, as you can see, and you're on your way. Just going to stir that around quickly, make sure it's incorporated. We've already seasoned the vegetables, the gravy, the chicken, so I'm not worried about adding salt and pepper to this right now. We don't want to over-season our food with salt. And casserole dish, square, round, doesn't matter. We're going to add that. Make sure it's evenly distributed. Not too high. We might get a little bit of boiling when we're cooking it. We don't want it going over the edge. And then last but not least, we have a piece of puff pastry. We make the puff pastry here at the college, but there's nothing wrong with buying frozen puff pastry. In fact, if you want, you can buy a frozen pie shell, flip it out of the tin foil, roll it out a bit, and use that on top. So, puff pastry on top of the casserole. We cut a little bit straight here so we can still see the handles for the casserole. And I'm simply going to pinch the edges around the outside. Just like you would a normal pie. Any excess pie, pastry on the side, you can cut it off or you can just tuck it underneath. No worries. We did make a little bit of decor to go on top. Uh, these are simply round pieces of puff, puff pastry. You're going to have a little bit of scrap left over. Cut them out round, stretch them out a bit, put a mark down the middle, marks on the 45, and it's going to look just like leaves. So you can spread some of these out on top of the pastry. This will really impress your friends and family. And then if you want, you can build another one up in the middle, roll up a little bit of puff pastry, make it look like grapes. Call it, choice is yours. We would probably add a little bit of egg wash to this. Okay, helps the finished product. Just spread it all around. And then this goes in the oven, presto. What did that take us? Five minutes, okay? And you're gonna have dinner ready. And here is the finished product that your family's gonna enjoy the day after Christmas. Or you can freeze all these ingredients. You can pull it out, make it Boxing Day, make it New Year's Day. What? Ever. It's all good.